Hey, what's up guys? Shardness Prime here doing a little Marvel Legends update video on the recently revealed 6-inch Giant Man by the Hasbro Marvel team via their YouTube channel. Just earlier today, they posted a video talking about this two-pack set over here, which will be available for pre-order tomorrow at 1 p.m. if you're a Hasbro Pulse exclusive member eastern time by the way 1 p.m eastern time 2 p.m eastern time for everybody else if you're trying to get your other marvel legends well you can do so at big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below so here's a look at the back of the packaging and i like this little shout out is this avengers number four i think they're shouting out right over here kind of redoing the artwork and yeah i'm stoked for this to get a complete set of of the original avengers i think this is great the whole angle that they're working on right over here is that we do not have these figures behind uh, the has lab campaign as tears or anything like that any they're accessible to everybody so that's what they're aiming for is pleasing the customer base by having them available um as not unlockable tiers or anything like that but as just separate purchases as we've all which i figured out right away and then people said that i was full of it at first but like all the extended tiers items and all that they're all included into their cost so they see it as the value with everything included people want free stuff hey i love free stuff too don't get me wrong but yeah i don't mind you know shelling out the money for these two figures outside of the kickstarter i'm happy with the price point that they gave us for that giant man and i cannot wait to get it that's actually this was a has lab uh update video that they actually uh used you know for for their announcement of these figures over here now i mean we've already seen the wasp but they get into detail more about the wings these are you know the same wings we've seen before uh, but you could remove the bottom set if you want to. I feel like they have them backwards over here. Am I wrong about that? It looks like the bottom set should be at the top, right? I, I don't know. But uh, you can see that you have one set of wings right over here. And one thing that we didn't already see was this new Janet Van Dyne head sculpt, which I think looks really, really good. I love what Hasbro has been doing with their photo real tech, even though it's not photo real tech, but they're new technology for their comic based characters making them very lifelike and very realistic looking i think that's fantastic and for me personally i'm on only issue i think 17 right now i'm trying to read every avengers issue holy crap this this character <laughs> especially like in those first 12 10 11 issues i mean she's really got the hots for like all of the avengers like she maybe not hulk but yeah uh even though he's not really part of the team at first but it's just kind of a trip like she's always checking out thor she's always wondering how sexy that iron man is under that armor uh she's like in captain america she's got the hots for all of them man but i i think that was kind of uh i i, I don't know <laughs> what the mentality behind that was maybe stan was a little bit uh had some had some things going on in his head right there i don't know what was going on in his personal life at that time but anyway or maybe they're just imagining like hey look if she's surrounded by all these super buffed super powered dudes she's gonna you know she's gonna have a little bit of a you know she, she's gonna get aroused and she clearly is i wonder if this head could look all the way up on the wasp figure i, I don't know why you would not have the head looking all the way up if it could look all the way up so uh, i'm uh I, I hope it does i hope it can look all the way up but let's get a better look at this giant man it, it looks pretty cool i mean we've seen this head sculpt before in the five pack already which is fine it looks like it's the same head sculpt we get you know some reused accessories right over here all three of those accessories we've seen before uh, all right it's cool to have i guess whatever I, i'm not gonna have them on the shelf with these on here but it could be fun to use for photography, of course. Uh, and you can see the two figures. I love that he does have the lab coat. I mean, that's something that you could use for a lot of figures. I don't think they snuck a bendy wire in there. I feel like that's a natural fold that they used uh, in that coat. But the fact that they've made a soft goods coat over here, I mean, that's something that you could use for a lot of different figures. You could put that on your Reed Richards. Even though we have a Reed Richards, we have a Bruce Banner already with their own lab coats, plastic ones. But this one right here, well, 
you can go ahead and add that to a whole bunch of different figures if you don't want to put it on your six inch scale giant man and i think that's fine i'm to i've been wanting this for a long time by the way like this is just something that i've genuinely have been wanting in the collection i even made a crappy custom from the toy biz version um but i think it looks pretty sick you know um maybe the head looks a little on the big side does look a little on the big side and they're reusing is this uh, the sunfire body mold with the pinless joints now i think that's what it is and I, i'm okay with it i i think this is going to look like a pretty good figure uh once we get it in hand the only thing is that we don't have the option like to have like the white antenna on there so i guess that could be a little bit irksome if you want him to look like that instead so now that if you have like a growing giant man display it's not going to be consistent if you want the white for the antenna so I, I i could see how that could be frustrating for me later on but you know they did draw it with the black and with the white so neither of them are necessarily wrong uh but yeah it looks like a solid figure not like an incredible crazy figure but that's not it doesn't need to be an incredible crazy figure it just needs to be a solid 6.5 inch 6.75 inch giant man that's what i've been wanting and boom there it is i can get it now so i'm, I'm happy to pre-order this i'm assuming it's going to be about 50 bucks i hope it's about 50 bucks man i don't want it. 60 bucks is going to be i think too much for a two-pack set like this but i think 50 bucks is going to be a fair price if it, if that's what it actually costs i like the open hands that we're seeing right over here uh with the janet figure so that is pretty cool i'm pretty excited about this man let me know what you guys think you know um oh it also comes with the quinjet I, I didn't mention the quinjet but yeah that's what the quinjet was all about or that that's what the tease was for which i didn't expect them to do i was like oh you're, that's where it's going i think it makes sense we you know we, we know giant man's able to you know uh shrink down other inanimate objects and everything so i think that's pretty cool but yeah this looks like a solid two-pack set that i'm very much looking forward to and i want to know what you guys think so let me know in the comment section below i also want to know what you guys think about the big time letdown stop motion just i'm not whining about it i love making them but i just want to make sure you guys like them too because i think the last few times i've posted stop motion compilation videos it seems like there's been more negative feedback than positive and i'm like oh, am i not reading the room right are you guys just sick of the stop motion so i do have a new stop motion compilation video coming up later today so stay tuned for that i have some biker mice from mars from the cell that we got to look at i have some gi joe classified figures um and I, i'm expecting a package this week of some new goodies that i can't wait to talk about on the channel as well i also have optimus primal from uh, transformers rise of the beast so i have a lot of cool figures to get into oh and the mezco superman because i have some mcfarland toy stuff uh got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about and um it's 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 kind of uh, overwhelming but at the same time i'm very excited about talking about these figures with you guys i hope you enjoyed the video hit that like button if you did if uh, you didn't hit that down button or the what's it called thumbs down button you know and uh leave a comment let me know what you think and i will catch you guys later peace Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.